students hope you all are ready to learn maths but listen what is that sound can you hear something tick 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 what is that yeah someone said clock watch yeah you are right it's a clock why do we use them yes to find time okay so today we are going to learn about time the fourth chapter of your mathematics textbook the name of the chapter is tick 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 before starting let me introduce two of my students to you they are pamposh and shazia let us listen to them hi shazia hi pamposh you know i have to walk for 5 minutes to reach school i just walk for 2 minutes to reach school impossible your home is farther from school but i check my watch i start for school at 7 o'clock when i reach school the minute hand points at 2 so shouldn't it be 2 minutes past 7 or 7 2 you are wrong you reach school at 7 10 how can you see these thin lines between the numbers yes so what the minute hand moves across 10 lines after 12 so it is 10 minutes past 7 or 7 10 i start for school at 7 i reach at 7 5 see the minute hand moves across five lines bye shazia thank you and bye pampos did you notice why shazia was wrong yes she has left all the small lines in between the numbers correct do you all know how to read the time correct to hours and minutes yes it's already explained by pamposh to shazia now let us see once again how to read the time correct to hours and minutes in detail now here is a clock what all can you see on the clock face we can see two needles the long needle is the minute hand and the short one is the hour hand what else is there yes there are numbers from 1 to 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 12 now let us see how to read the time in third standard you have already studied that if the minute hand points towards 12 it shows a complete hour now in this clock the minute hand points towards 12 and the hour hand points towards 3 so the time shown in this clock is 3 o'clock as pampor said when the minute hand moves from 12 to 1 it actually moves across five small lines that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so when the minute hand reaches 1 it has actually completed 5 minutes let us see that see the minute hand is moving yes now it has reached 1 and the hour hand is 
moved little away from 3. It is in between 3 and 4 and close to 3. The minute hand points towards 1. The time shown by the clock now is 3, 5. So, when the hands are at 1, that is, number 1 on the clock represents two things. One is, it represents 1 hour. When the hour hand is at 1, also it represents 5 minutes when the minute hand is at 1. Okay. So, when the hour hand reaches 2, it actually covered 10 minutes. So, the time shown here is 3.10. Check the hour hand. It is little away from 3. Now, look at the clock. I am going to change the time. Observe. Yes, the minute hand is moving. Yes, it has reached 8. Can you see now? Yes, now tell me what is the time shown by this clock? Oh, it is difficult to count these small lines till we reach 8 because we have to start from here. All these lines we have to count and reach 8. I will tell you a shortcut. This also we have studied. Do you remember? We have studied tables of 5. Have you? Yes. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. Correct. There are 5 divisions in between 12 and 1. Again 5 divisions here. Again 5 divisions here. Easily we can use 5 tables to find how many minutes the minute hand has moved when it actually moves from one number to another. Let us try now. One represents five minutes. Two, good, ten minutes. Three, fifteen minutes. Four, twenty minutes. Now you try to tell five, twenty-five, six, Yes, 30, 35, 40. So, the time shown here by this clock is 340. Again, look at the hour hand. It has come closer to 4, but it has not reached 4. Okay, when will it be 4 o'clock then? We have travelled so far and still the hour hand has not reached 4. Yes, correct. When the minute hand reaches 12, the hour hand will reach 4 and it will be 4 o'clock. I will show you that. Just observe. Correct? Yes. Now it is 4 o'clock. And how far did the minute hand travel? How many minutes? Yes, we know we have to use the 5 tables. So it was 40 here, 45, 50, 55, 60. 12 fives are 60. So, the minute hand has moved 60 minutes. Then the hour hand has moved 
from one division to another one that is 1R. So, we can say that 60 minutes is equal to 1R. I hope you are confident to read time now. Now, shall we practice? Yes, it is practice time. Look at this table. It shows how three of your friends Chiku, Bittu and Pinky have read the clock. Find out who is right. Yes, very good. Pinky is right. The first clock shows 3 o'clock. Could you read the time? Yes. Because the minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand is at 3. In the second one, the hour hand is in between 5 and 6 and minute hand is at 7 which means 35 minutes past 5 or 5.35. In the third one, the hour hand is in between 7 and 8 and the minute hand is at 3 which means 15 minutes after 7 or 7.15. Good. Could you all read the clock and tell who is right? Now, shall we do one more activity? Yes. Let us try to draw a clock. Draw a circle or a square on a white sheet of paper. Did you draw? Ok. Now, mark the numbers 12, 3, 6 and 9 at equal distances like this. Good. Now, fill in the remaining numbers. Which are the remaining numbers? Yes. You have to write 1 and 2 in between 12 and 3. 4 and 5 should be written in between 3 and 6. 7 and 8 should be written in between 6 and 9. 10 and 11 should be written in between 9 and 12. Good! Our clock is ready. Here in our clock we don't have the hands. We have written only the numbers. Now how are we going to draw the clock hands? The minute hand and the hour hand? Yes, I will give you the time and you will draw the minute hand and hour hand for the time given by me. Ready? Shall we try? Ok. Now look at this. Here is a picture where you can see many clocks without the clock hands. Now you have one with you. There are time written below the clocks. What you need to do? You have to read the time and draw clock hands in the clock made by you. We will do one by one. Use a pencil so that every time you can rub the clock hand and represent the next time. Shall we go? Good. 3, 10. We have to represent 3, 10 on the first clock. Where will you draw the minute hand? Correct. It should be at 2 because 
two fives are ten. And the hour hand should be between three and four. Good. Now the time shown by your clock is three ten. In the second clock, you have to mark six forty. Okay, are you ready? Did you rub the hour hand and minute hand? Yes. Now, forty minutes. Where should you draw the minute hand? Correct. Towards eight. And the hour hand should be between six and seven. So, now the time shown by your clock is six forty. Try to draw the clock hands for the remaining clocks also in the same way. Will you do it? Okay. Now I will show you two clocks. And what you need to do? You have to read the time on both the clocks. Then you have to write the time taken by the minute hand to move from the time shown in clock 1 to the time shown in clock 2. Okay? So, let us see how we can do this. Look at these clocks. What is the time on clock 1? Yes, it is 3.35. What is the time in clock 2? Correct, it is 3.50. Now, you have to write how long will it take for the minute hand to move from the time given on clock 1 that is from 3.35 to the time given on clock 2 that is 3.50. The duration from 3.35 to 3.50. Yes, some of you have got the answer already. Very good. What is it? Correct. You can see that the minute hand has moved from 7 to 8, then 9 and finally reached to 10. That is 3 main divisions which means totally it has moved 15 small lines which means 15 minutes. So, the time taken by the minute hand to move from 3.35 to 3.50 is 15 minutes. Let us play a guessing game now. Here are some pictures given for you. You need to guess how much time will it take to complete these activities. The first one how much time will it take to boil 1 liter milk? Have you ever thought of it? Someone is telling 5 minutes, 10 minutes? Don't know? No problem. Just make a guess and write it down. After this class, when your mom or dad boil the milk, find out how much time does it take actually and note it down. You will come to know how correct you were. Okay. The next activity is filling a bucket. 
In the same way, you try to guess how much time will it take to fill a bucket. Write your guess and check it out later. Enjoyed the guessing game? Okay, now you know how to read the time. But is that enough? Let us see what happened to Tun Tun's family. Do you know who is Tun Tun? Yes, I will tell you. Tun Tun is a small boy like you. Tun Tun's school closed for vacation. He went to his grandparents house and was enjoying there with his cousins. Do you also go to your grandparents house during vacations, right? At the end of the vacation, he didn't want to come back home because he was enjoying with his cousins. But he has to be back. His holidays are over. Now let us see what happened with them. Tun Tun, pack your bag. The train leaves at 5.30 in the evening. Oh no, we are going back so soon. I wish we miss our train. Tun Tun and his parents reached the station at 5.15. Oh no, we missed our train. How did it happen? What shall we do? We shall ask the station master. Hooray! That means I am not going back today. Sir, our ticket says 5.30. It's only 5.15 now. How did we miss the train? But sir, this means 5.30 in the morning. Oh, how could I forget that? Railway follows 24 hour clock. Yes, the railways use 24 hour clock. This is what Tun Tun's father said. Do you know what is a 24 hour clock? You can see the railway timetable here. How is the time written in that? Just observe. Yes, it is written in 24 hour clock. So, we need to study about 24 hour clock and how to convert time from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock and back. So, so far what we have learned is about 12 hour clock. Before learning about 24 hour clock, let me ask you one thing. How many hours are there in one day? Good, there are 24 hours in one day. Yes, that is why we need a 24 hour clock too. 5.30 It can be 5.30 in the morning or 5.30 in the evening. Right? This is the mistake that Tun Tun's family did. Instead of going to the railway station at 5.30 in the morning, they went 5.30 in the evening and they missed the train. Correct? So, to avoid this confusion, when we write the time in 12 hour clock, the time from 12 midnight to 12 noon will be denoted by AM. So, 5.30 in the morning will be written as 5.30 AM. Got it? Then, 12 noon to 12 midnight, that is the afternoon hours, will be denoted by PM. So, 5.30 in the evening can be written as 5.30 PM. Got it? But, in 24 hour clock, the time will be 
continuously written. That is from 12 midnight till 12 noon that is 1 am, 2 am, 3 am it will be 1, 2, 3, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours up to 12 hours. Then the afternoon 1 o'clock or 1 pm will be represented as 13 hours in the 24 hour clock. So what did we do here? We have added 12 to 1 it became 13. 13 hours in 24 hour clock is 1 o'clock or 1 pm in the 12 hour clock. Then 2 o'clock or 2 pm in 12 hour clock will be correct 14 hours. What did we do? 12 plus 2 14 hours in 24 hour clock. It goes on. So what can we do? To convert time from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock we need to add 12 to the time represented in pm and the time in am will be the same in both the clocks. Now let me ask you some more questions. Convert the given time from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock. The first question is 9 am. Here the time is given in am that is morning 9 o'clock. So no change in the time in both 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. So we can write that 9 am is equal to 9 hours. The second question is 8 pm. It is pm. It is 8 o'clock in the night. So what should we do? We need to add 12 to 8. It is 12 plus 8, 20. So it is 20 hours in 24 hour clock. Here is another question for you. Here you need to convert the time given in 24 hour clock into 12 hour clock. Let us try. The first question is 19 hours. Correct. It is more than 12. That means it is after 12 noon. So what should we do? We should subtract 12 from this time. Yeah, tell me quickly. 19 minus 12 is? Very good. 7. And since it is after 12 noon, we need to write it as 7 pm. Correct. So 19 hours is equal to 7 pm. Next one is 11 hours. Now this is less than 12. That means it is morning 11 o'clock. What will be the time in 24 hour clock? Correct, it will be the same. No change. So how will you write it? 11 hours is equal to 11 am. Correct. Hope you have enjoyed today's class and learnt many new things. Now let us see what we have learnt. We have learnt about 12 hour clock and how to read time 
correct to hours and minutes in a 12 hour clock. We have learned drawing clock hands for a given time. We have calculated the duration in minutes. We learned to estimate time taken for some daily activities. Also we have learned that railways use 24 hour clock. We learned to convert time from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock and back. Also we learned to use AM and PM in the correct context. Thank you children.